In the last class, we played with stencils and went through the world of backface culling in 3D graphics. Today, we are going to delve into one of the most important topics in 3D graphics rendering called rasterization. As we have seen in our first tutorial, 3D objects are made from 3D polygons and 3D polygons are made from triangles, which are the basic building blocks of 3D objects. As you can see here, the tabletop is a rectangle, which is a polygon, and it consists of two triangles. Rasterization, in essence, involves converting triangles of 3D objects in the 3D scene into pixels on the computer screen. The basic requirements for rasterizing two adjacent triangles, that's triangles that share a common edge involves, number one, it should not leave any holes, that's non-rasterized pixels between the two adjacent triangles so that the rasterized area is completely filled. Number two, no pixel is rasterized more than once, that is the rasterized triangles should not overlap. In order to achieve these requirements, certain rasterization rules are established. One set of such rules is top left rule. It states that a pixel is rasterized if and only if its center lies completely inside the triangle or its center lies exactly on the triangle edge. That's either top or left edge. In case of corners, the pixel center lies exactly on the multiple edges, that's top or left edges. A top edge is a, an edge that's exactly horizontal and lies above other edges, and a left edge is a non-horizontal edge that's on the left side of the triangle. As you can see in the figure, the red edge in the triangle on the left is a left edge, and the red edge in the triangle on the right is a top edge. Now let's go through a rasterization algorithm. In order to reduce the number of pixels that need to be traversed as part of rasterization for each triangle, the algorithm computes a bounding box for the triangle to be rasterized. Computing the bounding box involves finding the minimum and maximum X and Y coordinates of the three vertices making up the triangle in raster space. Once you compute the bounding box of the triangle, the next step is to iterate only over the pixels within the bounding box to rasterize the triangle, rather than rasterizing over the entire set of pixels on the computer screen. Rasterization checks whether each pixels, pixel in the bounding box is inside or outside the triangle using the rasterization rules we discussed in the prior slide. In the next class, we'll take you to the world of texture sampling. 